welcome back to a new video and today I'm going to show you guys how to make this kind of wood UI uh, for your Roblox game so so I think this is a pretty cool design and uh, you can see there's a progress bar right here there's an icon and yeah it's just pretty cool so I'm going to show you guys how to make this first let me change the background color alright so to start let's make a new layer this button right here we're going to take the ellipse tool, so click and hold right here. You're going to find ellipse tool and select. Now up here on fill right here, let's just go black. Doesn't really matter. We're just going to create this shape right here. So let's just make a circle first of all. Okay, so next, let's lower the opacity to 50 just so we can see what's behind. Because now we're going to hit Control T on the keyboard. And right click and let's hit warp and with this you can adjust the shape of the circle to match the uh, back shape more accurately so like that i think that's uh, pretty fair looks pretty good to me okay now you can double click right here you can change the color if you'd like to all right so this is what we have so far i'm just going to move this down let's make a new layer now you can take your pencil here are the settings, shape, fill, color black, stroke is off, right here. And now we're gonna click right here, let's make this shape. To make a straight line, you can hold shift, and this will make a straight line for you. Click and drag, like that, to curve. We're gonna hold alt, and click on this blue square, to, to reset the curve. And make this new curve, hold alt, click. Um, you can see there's a shadow, so that's for later. So I'm just gonna go here and say, click and drag a little bit, and this should be fine if we move this down. And we change the color. You can see this is what we have. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, next, let's hold control, click on uh, this top layer so both are selected. When I hit control J on the keyboard to copy. Control G to group, Control E to flatten. I'm just gonna move this down slightly. Now we're gonna hit Control U on the keyboard. And your lightness, turn this down a little bit. Move this uh, layer behind these, and you can see now we have a nice little shadow right here. Looks pretty good. Okay, so this is what we have. Um, next, there's this uh, little extra circle. It's very simple. Just copy this layer. We're just gonna take that color right there. So control T, make this smaller. And that's about it. Now, uh, let's make these little wood marks right here. Also, very simple. Take your pencil, new layer. Let's go fill. I'm gonna click on the color box, color picker. I'm gonna pick on uh, this color. This, this color right here. It's fine. All you gotta do is just click, click, and click and drag. Take the move tool, we're just gonna move this down, boom. And now for the progress bar, let's go ahead, let's take our rounded rectangle tool right here. Our radius is going to be 35 and we're going to try. That's actually perfect. And there we go, that looks really nice. And all you gotta do is just copy this layer. Change the color. I'm gonna go for a yellow color, actually, for this one. Because why not? Uh, and now for this little branch thingy, it's also very simple. New layer. I'm just gonna make this shape very quickly. So. Boom. I'm gonna change the color of this shape to the same color as this layer. Now let's make a new layer under and we're just gonna make this little branch thingy looks, looks good. Make sure this color is also darker. Now for the leaves we're gonna take your pencil and we're just gonna go ahead and just curve this and boom. Let's go right here. Boom. Copy, Control T, rotate, 
And uh, yeah, you pretty much have it. I mean, that's all there is to it. Let's go ahead, change the color. Now, as you can see, we have our finished result. We have a very nice wood UI, wood UI progress bar. As you can see. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, if this helps you, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you would like to see more. You can also leave a comment down below and tell me what else you want me to create. Okay, so with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.